picking up where we last left off. We still have a little bit to do before this is completely finished. Um, one of the things you're going to hit on a lot in typography, designing type, things like that, is variety and visual hierarchy. Visual hierarchy is just a fancy way of saying what's big is what's important. What do you want the viewer to notice first? In this case, we want the viewer to know this sign is about typography and arranging type. Those are the most two important, the two most important takeaways from this particular graphic. So that's why those are going to be larger. I'm going to come in and type in is enter or no, is the enter art of typing. And mine automatically centers because I have pulled up paragraph, which is under window type paragraph. And I already have centered selected. If yours looks up different, make sure you make it centered. And we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the functions you can adjust. I think we covered baseline a little bit. Baseline is just how far below the layer or the letter can go. You can also shift it above, make it look like it's jumping, having a good time. But you actually don't need to do that for this particular project. What we're going to worry about is the letting. And why? Well, I'm going to make this a lot bigger a lot bigger. And notice that jumped up and it's on top of my other text. Don't like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here. Letting is the space between lines. When I have something highlighted, it's going to adjust the letting above it. And we're going to bump that up. And that scooches that space down so it's a little more even. I'm going to make this smaller. Smaller! And you may find after you adjust, you need to do the letting again. That actually looks pretty good to me. So this is size seven. I'm gonna go to seven for this one as well. Enter. And now I've got a big chunk of space. And watch what happens if I just hit delete, like I'm deleting a return. We don't want that. We will use the letting to make it all better. So I'm going to adjust that down, make it go up. And now I've got a cool little shindig here. And I'm gonna swoosh it over here, make it bigger so it fits. Another cool trick with the align palette, select two objects, align them to each other. Isn't that cool? Now it's nice and centered. And of course I'm going to cut this out once I am happy with it. It's still not completely where I want it to be yet. Mm, that's better. I eat. So I need to make this an object. Command, Shift, O. And I need to select my other thingamajig. I need to minus that front. I've taken a piece out of the pie. I'm a little punchy. Sorry, guys. I gotta leave in like eight minutes for a meeting. Last but not least, I'm going to create a border. A border, a border, a border. Once more with feeling, I'm going to make a different color so you guys can see. And I want this to be perfectly around the edge. You know what I said was good for borders? Offset path. You know what we're going to do? Offset path. But not like that. So object, path, offset path. This time I want a positive value. So it's going to jump outside of my shape. Now I've got two of those. Hit OK. And I'm going to swap the stroke on this. I don't want a filled in shape. I just want the border because I'm going to get rid of this middle one. Nope. Just kidding. It didn't do it. Swap it. So let's get rid of the middle. And this does not look like what I want it to. So I'm going to pull up either properties or my stroke window. Stroke is here. And I'm going to bump that sucker up till it matches a little bit better. At least the space in between can probably go to 10 point. That's better. I like it. I like it. Now, if I try to select this and change it all at once, I get a lot of question marks. That's because I've got objects. I've got strokes. What I need to do to this to make it an object again is outline the strokes. Object. Path. Outline stroke. And that suddenly becomes a shape. 
it's pretty handy. Last but not least, you do want this all in one color. That's part of the whole point of this. So I want you to choose a nice unified color, like white maybe. Oh, guess what? Someone forgot to make something a compound path or objectify it or expand it. Whoopsie daisy. Caught me in a lie. So I should be able to change this all at once now. Yep. Cool.